everyone and welcome back to Erudemy Learning. Last video, we learned about the functions and features of the motion blocks through two very simple programs. You will find the link of that video in the description box down below. Today, we are going to do the same with the looks blocks. So, let's go. First, let's understand what are the looks blocks. The looks blocks are used to control a sprite's appearance. They are color coded purple and unlike the motion blocks, they are available for stage. They consist of 17 stack blocks and 3 reporter blocks. Now that we know what are the looks blocks, let's make our program. Start with the flapping parrot program. First, delete the cat sprite and add the parrot sprite. Then apply the blue sky background. Go to parrot script area and let's write the script. First, go to events tab and take when green flag click block. Then go to motion tab and take Glide 1 second to X and Y coordinates. Change the X coordinates to minus 190 and Y coordinates to 90. These coordinates will be the initial standing place for the parrot. Next, take a repeat 10 loop from the control step. Change the loop count to 40. This will allow our loop to run 40 times. Place the loop below the glide block. Now go to loops tab and take the next costume block. Tag it inside the loop. The sprite has another costume which can be seen in the costume tab. Next costume enables the sprite to change the current costume to the next costume regardless of the number. Next, take the move 10 steps from the motion tab. This will enable the sprite to move 10 steps after changing the costume. Lastly, go to Control tab and take wait 1 second block. Change the 1 second to 0 0.3 seconds. This will make the loop run for 3 seconds. Now, our program is all done. So, let's run it. You saw how the parrot flew from one end of the stage to another. It seemed very natural as it looked like the parrot was actually flapping its wings. I had told you last video that we can make the trampoline sprite look natural too by changing its costume. Try it out by yourself. Now let's move on to our next program, the flashing letter. First, take a new scratch window. Delete the cat sprite and add the letter sprite to make the word of your choice. I chose my name. Place these letters in a meaningful order. Go to one of the letters script area and let's write the script. First, go to events tab and take when green flag click block. Then, go to controls tab and take the forever loop block. 
Go to the Looks tab and take Change Color Effect by 25 block. Lastly, go to Controls tab and take Wait 1 second block. Change the 1 second to 0 0.01 second. Now we have completed a part of our script. Continue to copy the script in the next letter like this. Make slight changes in the script. Change this 25 to 50. Continue to add 25 in the scripts of whichever number of letters you have. Like this. You can continue this pattern till whichever numbers you want. For now... I have completed writing my script. So let's run it. The letters are flashing like lights. Isn't this amazing? So that's it for today. We made two really fun programs which taught us a lot about the looks blocks. Until then. Bye.